Uh, please and to all my subscribers, my viewers, the obedient family, active citizens and Nigerians, thank you for joining me once again. Now, because of how Nigerian politicians have messed up the judiciary, they now have the power to hire and fire, mess up whoever they want to, to the extent of the judges. And this is becoming really worrisome. Now, we all recall that Wiki and his boys went to a high court and demanded that the local government election be nullified. And the government, the, the high court gave rulings to their favor. And then Fubara went to appeal it in an appeal court in Abuja. And then eventually the appeal court went on to favor Fubara and said that the local government election stands. And trust me, because they didn't do it in favor of the person that they feel is in control of the judiciary, especially within the Abuja metropolis, he decided to dissolve the special team of the appeal court. And these have triggered a lot of reaction. Now, this is so bad that even they expect that whenever you are, you, they put you there, you are supposed to give judgment in their favor. And once the judgment doesn't fall to their favor and you come out to speak truth to power as a judge now, they will mess you up. So judges have, have sworn an oath. And after the oath, their job is to lie and to favor politicians. That is what it has become. I'm going to be showing you that expose of how it's dissolved and everything. We can mess the whole appeal court up because of, in fact, they are planning to set up another committee, the one that is ready to give judgment in favor of Wiki. Sarah reporters were the ones that give that expose. And I'm going to be showing you everything. But before I do that, let me quickly tell you that a fearless pastor have come out to speak truth to power about the Dutch Jews that we have here and how they are preaching has become transactional and the connection between Adeboye, the Imam, and Tinubu calling out the pastors and also the members and saying be very sensitive to what these guys are doing because at the end of the day, they are now playing a transactional system. It is no more church. It is now a business enterprise. And all they want to make is profit. So they come with the with the ideas of tithes and offerings and all that. Let me allow you to listen because it's a little bit lengthy. And you will love you will love to stay and hear what this man had to say. And when I come back, we'll continue. Please watch. I will they talk. The man who wants to go into the office gave the chief imam 200 million. Gave Daddy Joe two, Daddy Gio 200 million. After he entered office, he went to Thanksgiving Hawaii Dubai. He gave the chief imam another 150. Gave the GU another 150. And if he misbehaves, who talks? So those are not the people who will talk. They will tell you, let us pray for our leaders. Let God guide them right. But when their own cronies are not in power, they lead. I imagine some senior men of God who led revolt against Jonathan. Today they are deaf and dumb. Today they cannot speak. Why? Because they've already sold their hands. So basically, if you are waiting for them to talk, you are wasting time. Home. People should just pray to God that God should intercede and God should intervene. And I told some people, the prophets of old, the lead, religious leaders of old, they stood in gap between the leadership and the lead. If truly you are a man of God and you see the population suffering and you see people not doing right, you owe it a moral duty for your calling the moral duty for what you stand for against bad governance against injustice your leader gives you a photo of himself Abi, as a protective seal you put it under your pillow you put it in your bag when you are going out and that your same leader is going about with escorts and mopo 95 percent of so-called religious leader today are motivational speakers do you know some people will talk from morning till evening there's no reference of the Bible. They've learned and they've perfected their skill in motivational speaking. And to the ships, I'm using the word ship because I believe they should be able to have a discerning spirit. To understand the difference between a motivational speaker and a clergyman. All these people with tuxedo suit and big, big jeep. Are they not businessmen? Are they called? And let me tell you, the greatest religion is humanity. Do they have humanity in them? They don't. Because if they have humanity, they will not siphon their members. 
with the present economic system in Nigeria, a Jew is still saying, you can pay 20-30%. Humanity is not there. Why are you taking advantage of their gullibility? They are gullible. Followership are very gullible. Titan is different from false fruit. You see, it's because they've bastardized everything. No? They've weaponized every loophole in the scripture to their own advantage. If you're working and you're a Christian, tight. I think the church should be able to give back to the society. They are no longer talking about that mandate. Go ye into the world and preach the gospel. Christians are fighting Christians. Kerubu is fighting Sele. CSC is fighting winners. Winners is fighting Redeem. Redeem is fighting Mountain of Fire. Mountain of Fire is fighting Deeper Life. Christ the Bass is fighting Church on the Rock. They've lost it. They may not like what I have said, but that is the truth. They have lost it. Every one of us. They want to preach to a shine the other. They want to build Mega Mag Cathedral to a shine the other. They want to ride a private jet to a shine the other. They want to ride Rolls, uh, Rolls Royce and Limousine to outshine the other. They want a detail of security to outshine the other. All these things are showmanship which ends here. The mandate that was given to us, have we not lost it? We've lost it. They are like the Pharisees and the Sadducees. We will keep on talking to God genuinely. Let the masses rise. If Nigeria is normal, should let PC win in Edo? Abiotic power, we are not yet hungry. Now you've seen it right. In all this, all said and done, I really beg Nigerians, please don't be carried away by religion or the people at the top that are actually leading you. Especially in the churches, the clerics and the clergies, in the mocks, anywhere. Have a personal encounter with God is easier. You will understand these things. So that you don't believe that these people are saintly to the extent that they don't make mistakes. These guys make mistakes. They are human beings. That is what we fail to forget. They are human beings. And they have, they are prone to error. As far as they are human beings. So anybody looking at them with the eyes of, these guys will never ever make a mistake. He's lying. As they are striving towards perfection, if they are. Because trust me, nowadays you can't even differentiate the real from the fake. It has become, they have, the church in Nigeria have left the real message of salvation and all that and focus on the money message and focus on deception, deceiving the people every time. If once the government is in their favor, they sit with the government. I don't even know. It's like most of them have really collected oil from these people. And so they will praise the wicked. The Bible talks about it in Ezekiel. I think chapter 22, verse 27 and 28, I think so. Take your time and read it. You understand that these guys are just playing around with the mindsets of people. Either 22 or 23, I can't remember precisely. But this is the condition of things. And that is why you see a new breed is coming up to say, no, we have had this message for too long. You can't deceive us no more. You heard him say the old prophets stand in the gap between the people and their kings. These are men that are supposed to stand in the gap for the people. Instead, they keep extorting the people. Using all kinds of forms of lies about titan offerings. All forms of deceptive methods of titan offerings. There is no doubt it is good to give your tithe. There is no doubt it is good to give an offering. But when you now understand the system of tithing and offerings, you now know that it's not much. You go and carry it and fold it in a pastor's hand. These guys have done a lot more harm than good to Africans. I can tell you the real truth. And a lot of them have lost the, the, spirit, the real spirit. They are just operating carnally, looking for how to keep amassing wealth. And that is why we have a system that is still messed up, controlled by hoodlums that are supposed to be in prison. Let me show you what is going on with Wiki, the appeal court and everything. And when I come back, we'll wrap this up. Now, according to Sahara reporters, he said FCT minister Wiki orders dissolution of special court of appeal that gave favorable judgment on River State local government election. Now, let us get into the body and see details of the story.
Now it reads, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja Nation Wiki, who is in a protracted political war with his former godson and governor of River State, Similai Fubara, has ordered the secret dissolution of the Special Court of Appeal in the FCT that gave a favorable ruling on the River State local government election. Sarah so reporters learned that the panel was quickly disbanded after it upheld the River State local government election conducted by the administration of Fubara. Sahara reporters had reported that the Court of Appeal in Abuja nullified the judgment of the Federal High Court that barred the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, from releasing the voters' register to the River State Independent Electoral Commission for the conduct of local elections in the state. The appellate court panel, led by Onyekachi Otisi, had held on Thursday that the lower court lacked jurisdiction to entertain the suit. The court had held that Section 28 of the Electoral Act does not accommodate election conducted by state government, but only federal election, governorship, and area council election in the federal capital territory. The Electoral Act does not apply to local government elections and the lower court lacks jurisdiction to entertain the appeal the panel had held. Sarah reporters had also reported that Governor Fubara approached the Court of Appeal sitting in Abuja to overturn the judgment that barred the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, from releasing monthly allocations to River State. The panel that sat to hear the new appeal was headed by Justice Haman Barka, and it also has Justice Adebukola Banjoko and Justice Peter C. Obiora. Wiki got upset and reached out to senior justice judicial senior judicial officers and fixers. He secretly disbanded the first panel that gave the favorable ruling. A top source informed. Ironically, Justice Barker had rescued himself from the River State issue in the panel earlier set for the same purpose, saying he was under attack by some forces claiming he was compromised. The source further refused. The new panel approved by Wiki is litigating on the matter from Abuja, where Wiki's wife is also a senior judge. It was further revealed. Wiki is also enraged over the decision of the Accountant General to pay reverse allocation based on what he claimed was a mere stay of execution. Now, this is it. You can actually hear it for yourself. And then you can you can now see how messed up the judiciary in Nigeria has become. Trust me, if you're a justice or a judge that is willing to speak truth to power and give justice, you know, at the end of the day, you'll be messed up because they want things to go to their favor your job is to make sure they win their cases it doesn't matter whether you have to soil your hand or lie or change the constitution they don't care now let us take reactions to this because it will be really good to hear what one or two people have to say about this now adana timothy said weakest control Wiki controls the court in Abuja, and that's a shame on judiciary. Corruption entirely weakens its victim and make them look stupid. Now, Ayomi Tunde tweeted, he said, the man is knighted in lunacy. A minister is serving orders to the judiciary in what capacity? It is quite sickening how Tinubu has failed to arrest institutional improprieties. Now, this is just the setting truth. Let's take some more. Now, Prof tweeted, he said, Fubara will become your albatross if you don't leave him to govern River State in peace. You will become the overfed villager, challenging his chi, that's River's people, to a wretched wrestling contest. Let us take one more and then we'll get back to the video. Baba, they tweeted, he goes soon by market, we go peel him hand. Make no worry. There is a limit to how much you can stretch a wound before it runs out of patience and bleeds. Trust me, this is the perfect truth. Now you can actually see how messed up the system has become and how an institution that's supposed to uphold justice and truth has become a tool that is used for corrupt practices and all forms of malpractices. It's very, very bad. Now let's get back to the video and wrap this up. Now you've seen it right this is the level we have gotten to in this country is the level we have gotten to in this country that people that are supposed to be upright that are supposed to be regarded as people that you look at after god in heaven and then they decide the fate of people have become have lost every sense of conscience have lost every sense of truth and have become Tools that politicians play with. Play around with like the way they want. They even go ahead going to go and beg politicians. 
So by the time a politician pockets you, what judgment do you want to give? If he comes with his case in the court, what judgment do you think you're going to give? Is it is it a truthful judgment? It's going to be to the favor of the person. It is now a transactional system of justice. It is no more, and there is nothing like anything, there is nothing like uh, uh, the judiciary is the co uh, group of the common man. There is no common man in the Nigerian judiciary. It is a hope of the person that is the highest payer or somebody that is in control and put them in the pocket. That's the hope. That is what we are seeing all around. Nobody should come and gaslight you or deceive you into believing that shenanigans of saying judiciary is the last hope of the common, common man. There is nothing like that. These guys have shown clearly that their mission is to make sure that it's a full state capture so that nobody can be rescued whatsoever. And we keep seeing this thing play out every time. Is it not a shame that when a judge come up and give judgments that are right, he gets sacked? Is it not a shame or he get dismissed because he came out and said, no, I will follow justice no matter what happens in this case. They just want it to be that, oh, say it according to the way. In fact, they will write it down and say, say it like this. And you see something. The guys will go fight person, fight person. God will go call poor hands for the person. They fight for her. And eventually, now you go to cry. Every time Wiki had come up with those shenanigans, he has failed woefully. It has always been in favor of Fubara. Fubara has always been winning. And Fubara will continue to win. You brought him in and said, this is the person you wanted to hand over to. Rig the a full election because of him. And put him there. And River State people say, okay, since you rigged the election for him, we are following him. You can't fight him. And now you are fighting him, Helter Skeeter, looking for a way to actually mess him up. And the more you keep doing that, the more you are exposed, the more your plans are revealed, the more you, you fall down and shamefully every time. Nigeria is in the... Yeah, that is why when people talk about it and you now you see people that have low, low IQ coming out to attack them. The video has been under fire for what he said. But how can you blame him? Didn't he say the truth? Is it not the truth is spilled out there? It's a shame that we are even having to deliberate on this matter. It's not even something we should have a deliberation on. It's something that is the real fact on ground that there is nothing working. All the systems and institutions that are supposed to be independent and do things rightly has been captured by the politicians, captured by the APC, captured by the number one man sitting in that seat and he's using all of them anyhow he wants to use them. And that is why they can't give judgment that is right. You can see the, the, the event that happened when those kids were actually brought out for, 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 for treason charges because they actually protested. The court was handicapped and couldn't make any you know, judgment until when Tinubu say release those people unconditionally. They judge now, they, they court now quickly. Release them and release others. Because even a senseless judge, we know that that thing was not going to stand. But because they have been captured, they will wait for others from above before they do their job as people that are supposed to uphold justice, truth, and are supposed to be independent. What a shame. Let me drop this video here. Please drop your comments in the comment section. We really love to hear from you. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so that whenever I drop a video, you'll be the first to be notified. Thank you for watching this video. Have a blessed remaining part of your Sunday. I'll see you next time.